going on YouTube and welcome back to Uncommon Sense. On this channel, we represent all things fashion, fragrance, style, and of course, mental health and well-being. Some eventful things have occurred and we are filming this for a second time. The universe is intervening. Decided, you know, the first selection I came at y'all with, we not gonna feature that. Shut it all down. I lost a lot of files and I had to come back stronger and we're gonna present you with a new list. So with that being said, Take two. So if you're into that type of content, sit back, relax, and we're going to get into that thing. After the jump, we're going to get into that thing. So sit back and relax. Stay tuned for the show. Every single day, I'm going to make something great. That's my way. Up, we got Mango Manga. Mango Manga is an extremely vanilla, jasmine, and mango based fragrance. You get a lot of mango up front. It's very fruity and it's very ripe mango, but it's very vanilla based and it's heavy on the jasmine. A lot of folks have stated they don't care for this fragrance. I am here for it. It's a fragrance that's very fruity but there's a lot of jasmine in it. It's very candy. It is on trend for the summertime. You did? It is very fruity and thick and sweet for summertime. Next up, number nine, Mancera's Pink Prestigium. Pink Prestigium is a mix of woods, grapefruit, agarwood, musk. It really reminds me of kind of pink lemonade. This fragrance really hangs in there. I wore this one to an event. It hung in there with me all night long. All night long, all night. Oh yeah. All night, all night long, all night. It is such a kind of bitter fragrance, but it has a lot of care because it's one of those fragrances that will sneak up on you and surprise you. This was a blind buy for me and I was pleasantly surprised. Think of pink lemonade with some woods and the Mancera oomph that it brings. You will not be disappointed. In terms of where it's gonna hang on you. Like, oh my God. Oh my God! So, the number nine spot goes to Pink Restrigium by Mancera. Coming up to the number eight spot. Now you guys can see that. It's gonna go to Ganache Parfums Mango Mojito. I don't believe Jerry Kako Rubius is making this fragrance anymore, so it's kind of sad because this is a banger. This one is half corn. I have been rocking this fragrance since I got it about a year and a half. Ugh, it's kind of like sorbet. It really is photorealistic to my nose. It smells exactly like the fragrance it is named after. His fragrance is tended to smell exactly like whatever they're named after. Mango mojito. Mint mango mojito. It has that alcohol kind of bite to it. It just smells like freshly muddled mint leaves. A little bit like sorbet. Mm, so sexy. You get just a little bit of that tart fruit. This one is not as sweet smelling as mango manga. This one's more of a bitter mango, more of a green mango, and more of the mint is present here but it's such an alluring and sexy, beautiful fragrance. That's why this one made the number eight spot on this top 10 for summer 2021. It is just such a stunning and beautiful fragrance that I feel like everybody should experience. If you go onto this website, you can find this fragrance, do yourself a service, snag it as soon as you can. You can get a ounce, 
30 mil of this type of joy. I want you to experience it just like I'm experiencing it now because I believe everybody deserves that type of happiness. So you can get it, get into that thing. Okay? Okay. And you're welcome. Coming up to the number seven spot, we have Zerjoff Mephisto. This is the only Zerjoff that I own currently at the moment. This one is worth its weight in gold. Zerjoff Mephisto is you get carnation, you get rose, you get aquatic notes. This one is reminiscent of Silver Mountain Waters by Creed, but I tend to prefer this fragrance over Silver Mountain Water because it does not have as much of that murky, inky feel while still being reminiscent of an aromatic and an aquatic at the same time. This fragrance is simply beautiful. I love this fragrance. This fragrance to me captures the perfect blend of both of those genres capitulated into one. This is probably my favorite fragrance from Zerjoff thus far. And I've smelled a few, but this one happens to be my favorite. Possibly the reason why I only own one. In addition to the Zerjoff price points, everybody knows Zerjoff is no cheap fragrance. They do fragrance as well. You get that very much. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. Ugh. I'm speechless, as you can see. So, number seven on the top ten. What's up, Nishi? Coming up to our number six spot, Manceras Soleil de Tale. This fragrance is a bit more, in my opinion on the more mass appealing side of the niche in indie list. This is a fragrance that I don't believe you can overspray. If I had to liken it to something I've smelled before, probably a bit more like the Aqua de Jo line of fragrances by Giorgio Armani. This is just one of those fragrances that is mass appealing for niche. It's a fragrance that is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And in my experience, it wears a little light on my skin to be a Mancera. This does not have the heavy, thick, massive sillage that Manceras are typically known for. However, it is no slouch in performance. You get the bergamot, you get the aquatic notes, you get the musk. It is a beautiful fragrance. You get longevity, you get performance. It is not a beast as some of the Manceras are known to be, but it lasts, it performs. Don't get it twisted. It is beautiful. Nobody that I've been around says that this fragrance smells bad. Nobody that I've been around says that this fragrance does not perform. In my humble experience, it is on par with some of the designer fragrances. I probably can wear a lot more of it without needing to moderate myself as I would with some of my other niche offerings. So, for summertime, I can bathe in this with no problem. So, for my chronic oversprayers, you can find yourself at home with Mancera Soleil de Tate. Coming up to my number five spot, we have Rosasi's La Jaquam Jasmine Wisp. Oh my God. Look at her butt. Rosasi's La Jaquam Jasmine Wisp is a beast. Three to four sprays, performance. Let me tell you, this is a fragrance that is typically marketed toward women, but I recommend it to any and everybody. It's a fragrance that I wear. It can be worn by women, it can be worn by men, anybody who identifies as in between, he, she, her, him, however. It is a fragrance that is reminiscent of Herbal Pura to my nose. Jardin Esquisif, which I have as well. But this one is a bit more fruitier. Jasmine Wisp comes up a bit more floral and fruity on my skin, whereas Jardin Esquisif comes up a bit more soapy on my skin, or Tiziana Terenze's Kirke comes up a, a lot more fruity on my skin. So all of them have a similar DNA, but each one of them does something just a little bit different on my skin. So this one is fruity, but it comes up just a bit more floral and jasmine forward. Jardin Exclusif is fruity, but it comes up just a bit more soapy on my skin. So each one of them does something just a little different. But love this one and I have them in a 
perform. This one performs exorbitantly well. Coming up to our number four spot, we have Montal's Oud Lagoon. Oud Lagoon is an aquatic fragrance, but it has that luxury softener and air freshener type of vibe. It has that upper echelon, back up off me, don't touch me, I'm too fly for you, you can't afford me type of <laughs> you can't touch me type of zeal to it. And I like that type of vibe, that distinction. It has an air of quality and distinction to it that makes you sit up and take note. Oud Lagoon is quite simply put a fresh floral fragrance with oud and aquatics. It is perfect for summertime. I love this type of fragrance. It is just very fresh and floral and a bit heady. It's a it's an experience and I love this fragrance and it quite simply put is ahead of its time. I don't hear a lot of talk about it and it has to be experienced to truly know the beauty of it. It's like a luxury air freshener. The freshness of this one cannot be mistaken. To have this on and experience it in the air feels like luxury. It is a floral, It is like a aromatic head trip. It's the best way to this term. A white floral aromatic. There you go. You're welcome. That's gonna do it for the number four spot on this top 10. Coming up to our number three spot. This is an indie house that I've recently gotten the pleasure to truly get to know. I have gotten so many different samples from this house. Thanks to Brian Dugan, he sent me like a shit ton. And I went through them and have just been getting my feet wet with this house and I absolutely have not found one that I've not liked yet. I had to order the big one of a few of these. And that house is... Genre Parfums, Louisiana. You see that? That's metal. Look at that presentation. I haven't ordered a big one yet because I want to work through these and truly get to learn which ones I need big ones of. Because I have so many of the samples, I need to figure out which ones I truly need to re-up on. And this one is RAMC, Ran After My Car. This one is zesty. It is a citrus bomb. Let's get an empty spot. Oh, citrus and musk and oh my. Oh my God, this is just so fresh and sexy. Straight out of Louisiana, Devin Bro did his damn thing with this one, y'all. If you have not tried Devin Bro's fragrances, make sure that you are in the Facebook fragrance group and you are ready for the ordering window when it becomes available. It's only available once a month usually. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. The monkey ain't no joke. Fresh and sexy. Ran after my car. Shout out to Lamar Gasson because Lamar Gasson put me on too. So the homie don't play. Ran after my car is a banger. This is the number three spot for this top 10 on the Nation Indie list. Ran after my car, R-A-M-C, from Genre Parfums. Parfumer is Devin Brooks. Next up, the number two spot is gonna go to Tiziana Terenze's Vele. You guys see that? This bottle is beautiful. Tiziana Terenze's Vele. 
is another mango fragrance. If you guys have not noticed, there have been three fragrances in this list that have had a mango note. It was not planned this way, but it just happened to be that this fragrance list is mango centric. It's summertime though, so it is what it is. I should do a list of fragrances with mango notes. Maybe that'll be the next video. Who knows? Drop a mango in the comment list if you want to see a, ma a list of fragrances with mango notes. I'll have to look through my fragrance list and see what other fragrances have mango notes. Drop mangoes in the comment list if you want to see a mango forward list. Also, drop a bumblebee in the comment list if you guys are feeling this fragrance list, this top 10. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This fragrance, Tiziana Terence S. Bele, is so coconut. It's balsamic though. It's a fragrance that manages still to be green and coconutty. Kind of reminds me of a tropical type of fragrance. And believe it or not, this is a green fragrance. Weird, right? It's balsamic. Coconutty, balsamic, even though it has a mango note. This one manages to be more green. It's not as sweet as mango manga as the first one. It's not sweet type of mango. This one manages to be a bit more green. So, but this fragrance, oh my God, it's such a beautiful, tropical, suntan lotion, lounging in the sun, 85 degrees with humidity and white sand beaches type of fragrance, you know? Ugh, beautiful. Oh, so sexy. If you guys have never tried T-Sound Trends as Bele, give it a try. And no, I'm not affiliated with any of these fragrances companies. I don't get any commission from them. I just want you guys to experience these type of fragrances because they really take you on a journey to experience other things, especially when you're going, especially when we all got things going on in our lives, etc. The escape that you can get from fragrance is truly real. Fragrance can transport you. And it's an instantaneous getaway, especially when we got other shit going on, you know? So, Titiana Terrence's Vele is number two on this top 10. Now, coming up to our number one spot. Our number one favorite niche fragrance. Mancera Ooh Lemon Mint. Oh my God, what can I say? This is my favorite niche fragrance. It just smells so freaking amazing on me. And in the heat, oh my God, oh my God. It just smells amazing on me. It seems like it performs exceptionally well on my skin, it comes to life. I wore this in the summertime in Atlanta heat. It comes alive in the heat. And what I noticed is outside in the heat, it performs a lot better than it does inside the heat. When you have on too many layers, it can't, you know, it can't come out. But when you're outside and you have on like one layer, oh my God, the sillage is amazing. So, Mancera Oud Lemon Mint is my number one pick for this top 10. I love this fragrance. It smells amazing on me. It performs well. What else can I say? It makes me feel great. I feel my sexiest when I'm wearing it. And there's no mint in this fragrance, but lemon, almond, musk. Uh oh. Don't get it on clothes, it'll be there forever. Don't get it on fabric. Don't get it on anything remotely not skin. Because you can forget it, it's there. But yeah, it's it was such a beautiful fragrance. Ugh, it smells so good. Anyway, again, this has been your man on Common Sense. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this list. Let me know what you're going to be rocking on your niche and indie fragrance. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you're going to be rocking in the niche and indie realm for summer. Let me know what you think of this list. 
And again, it's your been your man uncommon since I love you from the top. I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and then we're gonna pick it up and love on you underneath. And till next time, I'm out. All right, y'all.